Beets are a fast, easy growing vegetable. It only takes about 50 days for the beets to grow to full size. However, the thing to keep in mind when you are planting them is to make sure you have enough space in between the seeds to allow them to grow properly and evenly. So as you can see, this is what it looks like when your beets need thinning because it's overcrowded. So you can either pull them out and replant them somewhere else, or in my case, I'm going to bring this inside and just eat it as is because the entire green tops are edible. Aside from containing antioxidants, beets have been shown to lower blood pressure as well as helping with blood flow throughout the body into the brain, decreasing the risk of dementia. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make vegetarian borscht soup. Because all my beets are different sizes, I've collected enough beets to fill about 4 cups. I've washed them, cut the tops off, and drizzled them with olive oil. Then I'm going to wrap them up in tin foil and roast in the oven at 350 for about 45 minutes. So after 45 minutes you're going to check on them and if the knife goes in easily they're ready. And the great thing about roasting them in the oven is that the skin will peel right off. So starting off I'm going to add a little olive oil into the pan and to that I'm going to add 2 cups of chopped onions and 3 cloves of chopped garlic. And once the onions start to turn yellow I'm going to add half of a cabbage shredded and 2 potatoes that I've cut up in little pieces. Now I'm going to add 4 cups of vegetable broth, which is roughly 1 liter, and I'm going to fill it with water until everything is covered. I used about 3 cups. And then I'm going to add a couple of twigs of dill, and into a tea bag I'm going to add 4 allspice seeds and a bay leaf. Now you don't have to put it into a tea bag, this just helps me find the spices before I put the soup into the blender. Now I'm going to add 1 tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. I'm going to bring this up to a boil and then let this simmer on low until the potatoes are soft. And once the potatoes are soft, I'm going to remove the bag of spices in the dill and I'm going to put the soup into a blender. Now I've cut up my beets in quarters and I'm going to add it to the blender with some of the soup that I reserved. And I'm going to juice in one lemon. Then I'm going to blend everything together and combine all the batches into a bowl. So after adding salt and pepper to your preference, you might have to adjust the thickness of the soup. For me personally, this is just a little too thick, so I'm going to add more liquids. So I've added two more tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, and I'm also going to add more water. But what I've done with the water is that I've actually steeped additionally another bay leaf and four allspice seeds in the water as well. Now the soup is best served chilled, and don't forget to garnish it with a little bit of dill and some sour cream mixed in. And that's how you make my version of vegetarian borscht soup. Hope you enjoy.